all the lip swatches, but I wanted to come on here and say a few words because I had thoughts as I was doing the swatches, as you do when you are an opinionated beauty junkie. So I literally just went to Sephora this morning and picked up both sets. I was initially only going to get the matte crayon set, but I decided just for the you know, sometimes you have to invest in your channel and I figured I would pick these up as well with not very high expectations. And now I actually am thinking I might return the matte crayon set and keep the lipstick set. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to keep you guys updated. So from Bye. both sets, I just wanted to mention my standouts just totally based on first impression. The lipstick Nori from the Amuse Bouche set is probably my favorite that I've put on here today. The color was beautiful. The formula was beautiful. I really, really liked it. I think my second favorite would be a tie between the lipstick Pepper and the matte crayon in Frez. Fraze? Frez? Yes, the very first matte crayon, that kind of bright holly red, I just thought was gorgeous. And Pepper is a very me shade neutral, very sort of like Dolce Vita or Bite Pecan or that color family. Honeycomb I thought was way too pale on me, <laughs> had way too much brown. And Fig, I just have other very similar to Fig, so I just am sort of like whatever with those. The crayons, Orchid, I think I liked. Part of the issue is that the natural pigment in my lips was coming through too much, so I would like to try it again putting concealer over my lips so I can really get that color to pop. My lips are naturally quite pigmented, so I don't know. It's also just really not the time of year to be wearing a color like Orchid, so I sort of think it's an interesting choice to put into a holiday set. Uh, I would get much more use out of it in the spring and summer. The red velvet crayon was just nothing special at all to me. I have so many colors that are just like that. And the shade Truffle, it's actually the last swatch I did and what's on my lips. I like the color. I totally feel like I have an alter ego that comes out when I put on colors like this and like Nori. The formula of this sucks. I don't know if you could tell in the footage, but it's not like the texture of the rest of the crayons. It's not as opaque. It's actually quite a bit glossier. So it's just not really matte, even though in general these aren't like true mattes, but they're kind of like a satin matte, I guess I would call them. But I, I like the, the shade, even though I have other stuff that's sort of like this. Um, I don't like the texture. It's very sort of uneven and it's kind of like slipping around on the lips. So those are just my first impression, honest opinions on these sets. If you are in need of some nudes, I actually think that this is probably a pretty good investment. I think Fig is probably a really universally flattering rose. I think it's actually quite brightening to the complexion. Pepper is a really amazing neutral. Honeycomb, I feel, is only going to work on particular skin tones. And Nori is gorgeous. So I'm actually tempted to say that this one, I think, is more of a hit than the crayons. But just my preference. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these lip swatches. I am going to make this an annual tradition, I guess. I did lip swatches last year as well of the Bite holiday sets. I just, I love Bite as a brand. I think the quality is great. They're pretty cleanly formulated. And I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.